Chan from Humid with a chance of fish balls tours. And today we are going strawberry picking. There are a ton of strawberry farms in Hong Kong. Well, not a ton, but a couple. I decided to choose the biggest one. So we are in Yun Long. And here are the instructions to how to get here. We're at Lam Peng and all we have to do is exit E and then I'll show you where to go because we have to take one stop on the light rail to get to the red mini bus. Let's go. This is the exit E, come down, and the light rail is just in here. This is the main terminus, and we're only taking one stop. Don't forget, you gotta tap out so they know how far you've gone, so you can get charged accordingly. Okay, validated. That is the mall that we're looking for. It's called Tinsek Guangcheng Color Mall. Uh, right across from it is where we're gonna get the mini bus. It's the red mini bus. It is on the corner of Hongming Road and also Tai Tong Road. This is where you're gonna get the red mini bus. So there's no octopus cash only and they leave when it's full. And so when we get off, I'll show you what it looks like so you know how to get off. There's no bell. You kind of literally have to just yell at the driver. Not yell, but you tell him, which means we want to get off here. Take a print screen of this now. This is the stop you're supposed to get off at and just show it to him. And to make things easier, you pay when you get off and it is currently $6 per person. He will give change if it's like maybe $20 or something, but don't obviously give him something ridiculous like $500. Hey, it's not the last stop, but we were the last people in the bus. Things that you should recognize are there's a public restroom right behind me, but there's a big billboard right here. I'll pan into it and it just has strawberries. They're all letting you know that's where the strawberry garden is. And then there's these purple gates. We're gonna go towards this direction. All right, we're going into someone's village. It's in here somewhere. This is what it looks like. That sort of looks like a strawberry field, but we need to get find the entrance. We found the sign, parking lots on the right, and then right there. Okay, this is what it looks like. Those are the grape fields, tons of people, tons of kids. I still can't find my strawberries. Hey, Lei Hong, I'm coming. Okay, get a basket and get scissors. Uh, it's 90 pounds. Oop, $90 per pound. I don't need that many baskets. It's $90 per pound of strawberry. We only want two pounds because I'm jamming after. Let's go. and they said one holiday and a lot of the strawberries are gone. I have to go looking for treasures, meaning I should go outward and deeper in the field to try to find strawberries. So that's what we're gonna do. The strawberry season in Hong Kong is a little bit different. So usually you're thinking about the summer in Hong Kong. It actually runs from beginning of January to April. We're here at the beginning of February, but if you look around, please pan around. <laughs> You can see that there's a field of green and a ton of people, but not a lot of red. And unfortunately, my baskets are also very, very empty. So as you can see, uh, the strawberries have been a little bit picked over. You get the scissors and the baskets for free, but then the strawberries are weighed. They are $90 per pound. I don't know, you probably have done this more than I have. Come with me and I'll show you. I think it's gonna be pretty slim pickings for me to be able to pick two pounds. So I found one here, because if I'm jamming, I don't need them to be too ripe, in fact. So here's one, and so what you would do is, owie, something's poking me. Okay, ow, there's so many bees. Ow, 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 don't, don't, don't. Okay, so here you are, here's the strawberry, and cut. Here's my inaugural first strawberry. When you first come into the entrance here, there's this little stand. It tells you all the prices for all their products. Some by caddy, some by pound. I'm leaving empty-handed just because uh, it's really been picked over. But if you want to come, I'll leave you all the information down below. My caveat to you is that if you are coming here, just remember to come earlier in the season versus later. How you want to get back is there is a bus stop here for the K66, which is the regular double-decker buses or else 
You can also cash back the red mini buck. And also, there's a little mini store here that you can get some beverages. It's another day, another place. Look at all the strawberries we picked! I have a special guest with me today. Ta-da! Hi, you guys. <laughs> Look, they're so pretty! And they smell amazing. Did you pick these? Very amazing. Can we she picked pick them up. At the supermarket. <laughs> I will show her Instagram. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Here. And what do you do in Hong Kong? I, I'm an illustrator here in Hong Kong. So you can buy all her fancy stuff as well. So I'll link all the stuff down below. But we're going to make jam today with strawberries. So we had to go someplace where there was a pot. So thank you, Kitty. Let's go. Woohoo. Oh my god, that's my favorite scent. Um, laundry. What? <laughs> oh, look. A full-on kitchen. This is crazy. Yeah. Should we tell them what goes into the jam? Uh, it is a recipe from all recipes. I've done it once in my lifetime when I was 21. And what do we need? There's no pectin. It only requires strawberry, sugar, and lemon. Welcome to our crazy chaotic jamming cooking show. No, I'm kidding. Okay, let's go. What am I doing? Nothing. Strawberries, and then we're gonna crush strawberries in batches until we have four cups of mashed berries. Ah! Sounds good. Feels better than a knife. Do you want me to do a knife? Yeah, maybe we could do a knife as well. It's a little better. Yeah. Oh, these knives are like, serrated. Oh, that's better, right? Don't these strawberries look so good? They look like a cartoon strawberry. Very, like very good. <laughs> Is our camera person snatching strawberries? Oh my god, there's been a theft in here. <laughs> Does that mean I could have one? <laughs> Should we do a taste test? Mm. So at first I like the smell. The strawberries, their taste come from the smell. Because they smell very sweet, but actually there's not that much sugar in it. Should we juice the lemon juice? Um, okay. How should we do that? I can do that. Um, I'm I'm okay good at this. I picked the right <laughs> Several bad puns later. <laughs> Is that really hard work, Kitty? Oh my god, I wish someone could help me. I wish someone could give us a tip. You know, if you cut the nub off the top of the lemon, it'll actually let the juice flow out more easily. Thank you for the tip. And thanks to the magic of TV, here's one with already the tip cut off. Let's try it now. Oh my god, it's amazing. And for two what payments of $19.99, you can get this, and if it's within 10 minutes, you can get the lemon for free too. Call now. I want 800-lemon <laughs> juice. Remember to use the tip and cut off the tip. <laughs> Maybe we should get a measure of I feel like that's close to a quarter. This is, yeah. <laughs> In a wide bowl, crush strawberries and batches until you have four cups of mashed berries. How do you crush them? Your dreams suck. You'll never make it as a model. <laughs> you have too many seeds. Oh. This is like a little forest mushroom. Hey, really Phil, hard. you're a fun guy. Eventually. Okay, cool. Mix together the strawberry, sugar, and lemon juice. Four cups. We are going full sugar. And then the lemon juice. Stir mostly until the sugar is melted. Okay. okay. Almost up to temperature. It should be 105 degrees Celsius. 
then I have a plate here for the the test. You're supposed to put some onto the plate, and if it doesn't separate after five minutes being in the freezer, then the jam is done. We need to just find the right implement to get them into the jars without getting any of the jam on the lids. Well, I mean the rim, because then the lids won't create the seal we want. Okay. If you don't have a good seal, you risk contaminating your jam. A little plate here. Okay, what kind of plate? What size? Any real, just small little like, tea plate. So this is just to avoid drippage. This is my project, but I don't think I've done much to contribute to this project. Are all sterilized. Perfect. Actually, we should put more water in the pot because these should be fully submerged. And again, we're trying to avoid getting a lot of jam on the lid of the jar. It's like those carnival yeah. games where you can't touch the wire. Yeah, don't touch the wire. Except in this I game, we like... don't have a buzzer. And if you mess up, you can give yourself botulism. <laughs> <laughs> These don't necessarily have to be like super tight. The, the boiling water is what's meant to make the seal. This needs to be boiling. This should always be boiling. And that's what you're looking for if you're, if you're wanting to do this in a way that is completely sterile. Okay. Because that means you have Are those a good okay seal and, and nothing can get in or out. It'll take about 10 minutes or so, but if there's a seal on there, yeah. that means the caps will fill out. And you'll have yeah, a, so like a seal on the jar, so okay. the caps will kind of in. And then when you open them, then they'll oh, pop back out. Awesome. Later. We bought some scones from Bakehouse, and now our jar of jam. Let's open it up. Whoa, it's pretty set now. Amazing. Okay, let's serve it. Okay. Good. Looks like the mandarin area, so. <laughs> mm, smells very strawberry like. Good, good, good. We've been playing overcooked. Mm. Is it good? Mm. The jam? It tastes just like smuckers jam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the thumb roll. Okay, Ooh. it's a lot later now, and we're taste testing our jam, which tastes really good because it tastes like smuckers but i hope you enjoyed and i hope you enjoyed my guest so I'll, once again i'll put her information down here and if you like the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and also don't you forget what's the weather like in hong kong well it's humid with a chance of fish balls till next time jai Geen. bye bye <laughs>